What's ever? Wow, <laughs> that's a great intro. What's up, everybody? We're back. Milanese Teutons at war with Europe. Um, still here with Corey. This is our multiplayer kind of kickback LP. So hope you guys enjoy. You'll hear a lot of talk about what's happening in the world, and this so far is a crazy Europe. So, I mean, the map, other than Pomerania, doesn't look too crazy. But the fact that, you know, the Emperor is Bohemia and it's it's an interest there's been a lot of interesting wars. If you haven't been watching the whole series, I suggest going back to the first couple episodes and you'll see just the craziness that was wars in Europe. A lot of big wars that went down within the first few years, yeah. Anyway, I think we're ready to unpause. Okay. Let's do this. I'm gonna see if Janoa will attach to my ships this way. No, Janoa, why are you running away? We need to go fight we need a f freaking. Oh, I hate you, Genoa. It is because of you I'm about to lose my ships. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sit on this until I can uh, at least humiliate uh, Pomerania, but. I'm trying to decide if I want to stay longer and try and actually get like war reparations as well or what yeah we're just gonna get military access here uh, yeah I'll gain a hundred admin power like it sucks that I didn't gain another cardinal because that would have been nice but Hundred, but it would have cost me to lose a hundred admin power. Which is not mm -hmm. a good idea. Not a great idea. I mean, maybe it's fine, but let's get some humanist ideas. And if I get their allies out of this, they'll be a lot more likely to just give me what I want. And all, do you have a fort? You do not have a fort. Awesome. Hey, Austria, you see this Verona? It's technically an, an Italian core, and I'm an Italian. So, like, look, I know you can't really give me Venezia, because, first of all, it's expensive. It's worth, like, 27% war score. Now it's a game of watching the sieges. Yeah, I'm sieging Treviso and it's taking its precious sweet time. <laughs> Always does. Water shirt. Um, right now, if I were to take Ven Ven Venezia, Treviso, and Verona all at once. Since I have claims on all of it, I would only get a coalition against me that would consist of Florence, Savoy, and Venice. I wouldn't be bad. I, c I could handle that. Mm -hmm. Although if I separate peace, the Austria would not like me. But Austria, if I separate peace, they'll be smaller. They may just be dead. No, they survived. I don't know, maybe I should just let them win, actually, now that I'm looking at this. They've got cannons. Yeah, we're gonna let them win, and then we'll go and, uh, attack. Where are you fighting at? Oh, I just had a bunch of pretenders rise up on one of my armies that I left to siege, and, uh, my troops got booted out, but the rebels actually have cannons, so I'm just going to let them, uh, do their thing. Admin power. Admin power is just hard to come by. Uh, I think we're going to have to keep the admin power to core this stuff right afterwards. That's at max, yep. Okay. Up there. Let's see. 
Do you see what we have done? You see what we have done, Austria? Look at what we have done to Venice. Now give me some land. <laughs> I don't want to sound greedy. But I deserve it more than you do. You're already a monster. Look at you lost the empire. You lo you don't deserve anything. You've upset all of us. I'm I'm, I'm all right with you, Austria. Please be my friend still. <laughs> don't don't lie. You're upset. Maybe not as upset. In a, a not, I'm not upset. Because every time, Corey, I took provinces, Austria didn't care. <laughs> Bohemia cares. Trust me, I will know the feeling here very shortly. I'm taking three. Oh, you're taking three. See, I took two and I only got unlawful territory on one of them. Yeah. I will, since mine's like less uh, development, I can take more than you can, like, and still have about the same amount of uh, aggressive expansion. But, um, yeah, they can only demand one at a time, so. Works in my favor. Okay, let's get some uh, defenders deserting here, because, like, Ford only has 400 men. Should have marched in sooner, I just wasn't paying enough attention. Okay, so we can technically get that now. I would like war reparations though, as well. Pomerania. Alright, Austria, this war is going swimmingly. So I think I I think I deserve, you know, a little bit of love. I would separate peace out if they would do it, but it uh, I need at least 10 war score to make demands and apparently only have nine. <laughs> and even then, okay, now that I no, now that I have 10 war score, I still need plus 100 I need like plus 200. Mm -hmm. So, long story short, not for a while. Yeah. Get out of my land, Naples. Okay, there's like 300 of them. Come on. There you go. Good job. Oh, I did not know you could keep... Oh. Can't believe we still had to accumulate money. I accidentally kept my guy one time too long. What happened? Uh, my Republican traditions are like 57. Okay, so you didn't actually lose anything. No, and now I have a 644 leader. Which one did you demand? You demanded this one. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna increase autonomy across the board. had six galleys um I can fight that actually I can save a good amount of admin by waiting oh damn I don't need to fight it though no 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 no, no. stay docked I don't need to fight that like I can doesn't mean I should because <laughs> Venice still has some ships roving around and I don't know where they're at it's bark okay Gotta keep my barks and my galleys separate because you know where everything's at. How far am I from being able to get my Tech 7 with the cannon? Uh, close. Close. August 18 or 1485. August 18 something. God, that'd be awful. Oh, I'm gonna have rebels. Where are they gonna be at? Modena? Good, I'm standing in Modena. No, I'm not. God damn it. <laughs> Austria, take care of them. Thank you. <laughs> I can save four admin points by waiting for war exhaustion to go down. Doing it. So, 
Austria and Genoa just jumped on my rebels and are taking care of them for me. <laughs> wow. This is beautiful. Oh, hold up. We don't want to do that. Uh, it was almost a big mistake. Austria, end your war. What what do you want out of this? I mean, I could go siege Naples, but what's the point of leaving home? Like, I honestly have no idea why I would ever go down there, just because I could siege it, but... If Austria and Hungary don't feel it's important enough to siege, neither do I. Mm, let's build. Wait. Muscovy, you lost cores? <laughs> How'd they lose cores? Novgorod and Sweden just fucked them up. Wait. Muscovy lost to Novgorod and Sweden? Mm-hmm. How? Pretty easily nowadays. Well, I mean, Muscovy never used to lose against Novgorod, ever. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, nowadays it's pretty easily. Oh. Like, the case. Like... That's just kind of the state of it right now. More exhaustion. Still slowly ticking down. Can save two more points on this one. How many on this one? Three on that one. So if somebody else gives you something in a war, do you suffer aggressive expansion? You probably still do, right? Uh, I believe so. Well, because I got land out of that, so... That's good. Who are you at war with, Savoy? You're at war with Aragon. Aragon, what are you trying to get here? Oh, you're trying to get something from Naples. God damn it. I'm gonna have to go beat up Aragon later, too. No, that means I'll have to beat up Castile. God damn it. <laughs> These boats are actually smart enough to connect. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, what do I still need for Italy now that I've gotten some more inroads. I still need Genoa, Siena, Roma, and Acona. So Siena's there, Roma, and Acona are there, Genoa. Okay, so I need to go to where Genoa, Genoa next, because I'm saving the Pope for last, because I really am enjoying having the papacy. Mm -hmm. Sure, whatever. I guess I don't need the Brandenburg. Oh, you know, back Austria. Cannons, boom. Okay, what is my force limit so I can build cannons? Uh, it went up to 23, but it'll go up even higher when these cores get done. But I'll still buy, I'll still build two cannons. Reminds me, I need to set a new rifle. I don't need that. Sweden rifle. it is. See, I don't get a set new rivals. Because you're lame. It's because my rivals are actually rivals. Sorry, that was rude. It was rather rude. Kind of hurt. That's alright, you'll be okay. Sorry, but you'll be fine. <laughs> 
Come on, you can't tell me Venice is still a valid rifle. Look at me and look at Venice. Venice is not a valid rifle. The only thing they have going for them is stupid, stupid overseas crap. Got 52, I want to say, development is all. And yeah, that's pretty measly. You got 52 from that war? No, Venice has 52. Yeah, and I have 245. Yeah. I am sitting at 173 development. How do you tell what a total country's development is? I counted it up. Oh. Okay. I mean, it's probably counting their vassals, too, but... They don't have uh, vassals. They don't have Corfu and Naxos? Nope. They oh. are forced to release stuff. Um, Hungary is now hostile towards me. Hungary and I don't like each other, either. I take Hungary. that back. My people are like, yeah, them Hungarians aren't bad. They're just... I mean, for being rivals, they don't hate me overly much. We've got enemy of enemy, same religion. Got a little bit of aggressive expansion, but, you yeah. know. Never hurt to have that much. Yeah, I'm sitting at like 20 with a lot of people around here now. Well, like for me, Hungary is just like, fuck this guy. Oh, it's because they desire Ferrara. No, why do you, Hungary, desire Ferrara, Treviso, and Verona, you don't desire shit. Get out of here. <laughs> you tell them. Well, those are clearly my desires, not theirs. That's across the sea. <laughs> oh, Istria gets renamed when Austria takes it. To Istrian. Istrian. I don't know. Craziness. Oops. Looks like you were falling behind. DJ? Hello? I'm still here. Well, we'll try this again. Sounds like you, uh... You got me still? You caught up. You, like, dropped out of the call for, like, a second. Alright, so... And we lost him again. He's keeping up in date, at least. It's just Skype, it looks like. They won't collaborate. Wait. Argonese Conquest of Calabria. But I'm back. They don't even have a fucking claim on it. How did they declare that war? <laughs> uh, was it a no CB war? <laughs> the war is the Argonese oh, conquest. conquest of Calabria. Maybe they had a mission. I'm pretty sure those like always give claims though. Well, I know, like, Italian Ambitions doesn't give claims, like, when you were, well, it used to not, like, when you'd be France and you'd do the Italian yeah. Ambitions. Yeah. Nowadays it does, though, doesn't it? I haven't played for a long time. I don't know, yeah, I don't, I don't play France enough for that. Hmm. It's a ballsy one. Ah, uh, support the Florentine School, why not? Probably a heretic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Damn it. Damn heretics. Okay, we can move these guys out on there. Okay, that's my naval fleet. I got my barks patrolling and protecting trade. They will, like, group up sooner or later, right? <laughs> they will maybe group up sooner or later. <laughs> okay. That is one of those things where I have seen them just circle around like separately forever, which is why I usually still try to group them up myself, just because I don't trust them. 
but no they grouped up that's good okay gift to the state 10 prestige or ducats what is my mission improve our prestige so i will take 10 prestige there we go got one stability sweet i have no missions available what what is this Pragmatic Sanction. That's kind of cool. Imperial Authority at least 25, have Prestige at least 1, have Legitimacy at least 90, which I don't. No female can become Emperor. Oh, you can make it so females can become the Emperor if, I, if you enact that decision. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh... No, I. Humanist ideas are so good. But I feel like my admin tech is only seven. I'm way ahead of time, so I'm gonna get it. Aragon, sure. Because I really want national unrest minus 2%. Got it too. Fuck. I don't know. Two provinces with freaking uh, unlawful. I thought the one had to wear off beforehand, but it looks like they just can only do it so many years. Uh, trying to decide what I want to go with for my next idea group. I'm See, I want. I went with humanists because I know I'll be conquering and the national unrest and stuff and the autonomy and all that reduction would be really nice. Yeah. That and I went with... Well, that one off think... doesn't mess with autonomy, but oh, it I gives it years of separatism. Oh, yeah, that's why I did it. Sorry. Yeah, I think the three admin ones I want are innovative, economic, and humanist. Yeah, I'll go with innovative. Innovative is always a good one. I wanted to kind of get plutocratic, because that one's really good. Plutocratic is really good. But I was... I don't know. I need to get Castile involved in a war on my side, and then I need to go over Genoa. I don't like all this... like... tricksy stuff. Trixie stuff. Yes. Like messing around, like I need to go to war with this person to get this person in the war so then I can go to war with this person without get this person getting called in. Gotcha, yeah. Because I really, really want Genoa. They have really good provinces. And, but Castile will defend them, not me. Uh, Castile will join this one as soon as they're done fighting another war. Austria has a truce with Florence. Oh, so do I. Then France will join. Okay. All right, yeah, we're going to get my reply. As much as I'm kind of tired of being a republic already, <laughs> I will try and start upping my republican tradition again. I I'll could just become a now. dictatorship, but... Sorry, I was thinking I had them rivaled. I need to take that away. <laughs> Shit. Just going to hurt me. I'm used to having the same rivals, like, you know, not rivaling other people, but this game I'm actually being a lot more careful with my rivals. I'm probably going to start not being so much so, but... Yeah. So... This could be fun. Oh shit. Cancel military access. Um, so, if I declared on Mecklenburg, it would pull in Poland, Lithuania. Okay. And if I could get my allies in, I think it might be worth it. And you just start that giant war that you wanted? Without yeah. Bohemia. Oh, even better. Yeah, because what you really need to do is if you weaken Poland, you'll be set in your position. Yeah. Exactly. 
I mean, that's kind of how I feel right now. Me and Austria are like best friends, and me and France are pretty good friends, so I feel like I'm just set in my position too. Mm -hmm. I think once I get elected to the Curia again, I will then declare war on the Pope. I think that's the only logical thing to do. Actually, I should have done Ermland first, because Colm is Polish. Damn. Oh well. I have a lot of money. I need to do something with my money. Okay, I build trade depots, marketplaces, yes. Mm, who are my allies? They are Teutons, France, Austria, Castile, the Pope. Austria is good, Castile is good. I'll just top Austria off, I think. Yeah, actually, I can get Austria to 200 with improved relations. So if I just took those two provinces from them, left them with that. Hell, I might as well take all three looking at this. 9, 12, 6. Yeah. So if I fabricate on those three, and then I would piece out Poland Lithuania separately, making sure to break Poland. That would work, I think. See, so just listen to his brain work. <laughs> this is He's the EU4 master, guys. Uh, I don't know that I'd say master after well, some of those uh, previous games I've had, but... <laughs> from our, our channel, you're the EU4 master. I have sunk way too many hours into this game, yes. Uh, see, I only have like 500. Uh, how many am I sitting at nowadays? Frickin... let's see here. U4... 1100. Happy oh my God. day. Good job, Bohemia. You have done something right. Okay, so gives causes bellies to non-members holding Imperial territory. Just to Bohemia? That's not to us, right? I mean, not that it matters. There's nobody around me. Actually, it does matter. Pope, I have a CB against you permanently now, if that's how that works. Because I believe... No, actually, nothing you have is part of the Empire. Never mind. So they went and took one of Würzburg's provinces. Hmm. Corey, I need you to do your job and stop the Bohemian menace. Uh, yeah, I'll get right on that. I think I'm stop I'm stopping Italy from going north. <laughs> I think my plan basically is to take Mecklenburg cuz with Muscovy unfortunately being a little bitch uh <laughs> the Livonian war is going to have to little like wait a little bit. So once I take Mecklenburg and Brandenburg, I will have borders with Bohemia and I will look for a way to uh Clash. Austria is so willing to just trust me. They will go to wars against people that I don't even have a CB on. Jesus. Trust is plus 32 for Austria. And it's plus 31 for France, too. I only have in a fact, 25 trust with them. In fact, if it wasn't for the fact that this war is distant, I could get all of my allies to jump on Muscovy. Jeez. <laughs> wonder if I could just declare war on Hungary, no questions asked. No. No, I couldn't. So it'd be Bohemia, Lithuania, Galray, Hamburg, or Poland, Lithuania, even. Uh, yeah, I think I could do that. I might have to bail Muscovy out of debt to get them in on the war, but it'll be a while yet. I want to let my... Uh, aggressive expansion ticked down a little bit here since I'm taking another three provinces. And I think that's it for the Polish stuff. Uh, let's see here. 
or not the Polish stuff, the Pomeranian, once I get these three. Yeah. Cool. I could tear apart um, the French-Austrian alliance. They're not allied to each other, but I could start a war right now that would put Austria and me versus France and Castile. That could be interesting. Uh, we would get our shit wrecked. Or no, it would put me in France versus Austria and Castile. To a Papa Protégé. Unfortunately, unless I can beat Austria, Holy that's shit. not going to end well. Dude, you need to go hurry up and die, Ludwig Anton the First. I want that guy. That Papal Protégé is quite something. Also, I'm getting close to being able to raise my stability with uh, Papal Influence. I don't think Bohemia should be able to be the Emperor and an Elector. That's stupid. Once you become the Emperor, you should lose Elector in status. I agree. Completely. Because then, obviously, they're always going to vote for themselves. Yup. Although right now, Hess will become the leader of the Holy Roman Empire when Bohemia's leader dies. Bohemia's leader is 61. It might happen. Oh my god. Can you imagine a two province <laughs> being like the Dude, leader of the I, Yeah, I can. I have seen Hess become emperor so many times recently. I don't know, like, what it is. Like, if they just have really good placement for, like,. I mean, they've got three electors right now as allies, so it's just kind of one of those things, I guess, where they're kind of in a good position to uh, manage it. If I just Austria feel... can flip one of those people, though, like, they could become emperor again. Yeah. I mean, the problem with Hess being the emperor is they're too weak to do anything. <laughs> exactly. They can't pass a reform. They can't do anything. Austria against, oh dear god. You ready for this? Or did you get called in? Uh, no. Shit. I'm accepting. Don't screw me on this, Austria. Austria versus Bohemia. Ooh. No, Austria doesn't want me, apparently. I want that extra prestige for my soldiers. Um, I don't really want to leave because these guys are 70% and I've gone to the point where I just I do not use suppression unless I absolutely need to well Austria who else did you call into this it's me and you versus them you are a retard uh. you subsidies I would not be against you giving me subsidies. Oh, you want subsidies. Okay, yeah, I can give you subsidies too. <laughs> so you give Austria subsidies. Holy shit, Austria beat them. Oh my, are you behind? Yeah, you are behind. I'm gonna wait for you to, there we go. Actually, holy shit, that's a, a lot time. of subsidies. This is a good time to put a cut in the episode, I think. So, thank you everybody for watching. Like, subscribe for more. If you subscribe, we'll keep giving you these videos. And if you like, we will also keep giving you the videos. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming out.